leaky gut is essentially the infiltration or the transfer of unwanted molecules that reside inside the gut into the animal through the barrier of the intestine or the rumen. There are quadrillions of unwanted molecules that live in a cattle's GI tract, including in humans. And if, if any of these unwanted molecules infiltrate this barrier, they're gonna cause an immune response and the associated inflammation and negative consequences that come with it. The gut needs to absorb valuable nutrients, amino acids, fatty acids, carbohydrates, proteins, um, vitamins and minerals and water. But most of what's inside the gut in the lumen of the gut. The animal does not want to infiltrate that gut barrier. What I'm referring to as a healthy gut is preventing these unwanted molecules from getting in. From a nutrition standpoint, we look at how do we manage nutrients coming into an animal and turning that into some type of economic gain for us from a standpoint of livestock performance, i.e average daily gain on a beef steer, or maybe it's daily milk production on, on a milk cow. When we manage nutrition, that's what we're talking about. Right feed, right place, right time, right amount. Most of an animal's immune system, up to 80%, resides inside of the GI tract. This immune system is there for a reason. It's uh, to protect in, from invading pathogens. But if there is too much leaky gut, uh, it becomes hyperpermeable. These invading antigens will stimulate the immune response and the activated immune response requires an enormous amount of nutrients, primarily glucose and amino acids. Nutrients that would otherwise be uh, used for the synthesis of valuable products like skeletal muscle. So essentially when that gut becomes leaky, the animal gets, uh, has an immune response and that immune response comes at a cost. It requires an enormous amount of nutrients. From a producer perspective, the signs that are, that are obvious are uh, reduced appetite and reduced growth. There are a variety of on-farm events that are common that cause leaky gut or damage the, the healthiness of the gut. They include things like heat stress, shipping, weaning, uh, off-feed events, anything that causes excessive fermentation in the large intestine. So these are mostly management issues, some of them nutrition, but most of it is management regarding um, very typical on-farm issues.